Yep, this is question number 80. Ladies in the back. Ladies in the back. Kimberly. You might want to pay attention to this last one because if you didn't already write down 81, 87, and 89, these are the last problems you have to do for your homework. So therefore, if you guys are given a circle, all right, and you guys are given a radius of 10, and then they say the arc length is 29, all right? What they want to say is, well, what is theta? What is the angle of actually this? Um, what is actually the angle of this? So I say the arc length, so I should say from here to here is 29 radians. What is going to be my theta? What is actually going to be this angle? So it's, what it says is um, the arc length, okay, is equal to your radius times your angle, which we'll call as theta, all right? So therefore, the arc length is 29 equals my radius, which is 10, times theta, which I do not know. I'm trying to solve. So just like you do for any other equations, when you have an unknown or variable, you need to solve for it. So since it's multiplied by 10, just divide by 10. So therefore, 29 divided by 10 is 2.9. Make sure, ladies and gentlemen, that you understand that we're talking about radians. We're not talking about degrees. So this is 2.9 radians, not degrees. Okay? So therefore, your angle is in, your angle is 2.9 radians. Teacher, right? pardon this interruption. At this time, please turn your TV to channel 6 for the Unsaved News.